They want a more effective Trump, and he could be a bigger national security threat than North Korea. Check it out. Leave your comments. Ding the bell. Share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Tom Harbin here with you. Dave in Federal Way, Washington. So uh, what's on the mind of our ex-intelligence officer here, Dave? Hey, Tom, something you talked about just a minute ago, um, you, you were talking about Mike Flynn and the judge. Look, I mm -hmm. have, <laughs> for personal reasons more than anything, I have put a lot of thought into this. But simply put, Donald Trump and Mike Flynn are more dangerous, in my opinion, than, to, to national security than, say, um, you know, Edward Snowden. And I'll tell you why, because Snowden... All right. The, the, the motive behind Snowden was his perception of the law. OK, he perceived the law, you know, a certain way. Trump he thought the federal Flynn, government was breaking the law. Right. Right. Trump and Flynn. I mean, I'm not saying it's right. OK. And the, the, the problem with Snowden is he's a lot smarter and has a lot more uh, specific information. The whole thing reminds me of the Rosenberg case. OK. The Rosenbergs never really provided Russia with any useful intel. Uh, the, the Russians needed technical specifications. The Rosenbergs just didn't have the physics background to provide useful information for them. But anyways, without getting into all that, I, I believe that um, Trump and Flynn are far more dangerous because Flynn I have known for years and I don't and I, I respect respect your Christianity, Tom, and I don't want you to take this offensively, but, but Flynn is a different type of Christian than you. Flynn is a fanatic, and he basically just doesn't care. He, he doesn't view the United States government as a, a, a legitimate Christian government anymore, and he has all kinds of knowledge to share, all right, and he just doesn't care. And the thing is, is, um, you know, he, he doesn't recognize the law. It would be like if, 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 you, if you gave up on what you believe and you decided the deepest thing you were going to talk about as a Christian in a Christian government is like is the multiverse in accordance with the Bible. Like I heard on a religious channel the other day, they were talking about the multiverse if it's Christian or not. It's pretty deep. I'm not going to lie to you. It was pretty deep. <laughs> but it would be like you it would be like you accepting that. Like that's all Tom Hartman's going to yeah. talk about. Now. But, but to your point, Mike, Dave, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To my point. My point is, is, you know, also I, I spent the week in Portland doing some training with a couple of different Trumpers. Uh, one was a truther and the other, she was just a denier. All right. She she was wanting to. Mm. But this this gave me a big insight. Just recently? Look, yes, just this week. Um, and and wow. and it gave me a big insight. Look, the the Trump. This Trump movement is exactly like the Taliban. And General Milley just met with the Taliban this week. And I, I, Dave doesn't know everything. Like, I was always against higher level officers. Well, you know, the Taliban, the Taliban openly endorsed Donald Trump for president. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yes. publicly. And, and here's. Right. And here's my main point. The Taliban has staying power because they want the impetus of power to be at the top. And I heard a medical doctor talk about Trump's response to the vaccine. This medical doctor said it was almost like Trump was demanding his right to not be in charge. Now, everybody kind of poo-pooed that comment because the guy was a medical doctor. But I'm like, this medical doctor is right. I've seen it a million times. I saw it in Afghanistan. I saw it in Iraq. When everything goes south, when all the plans, the meticulous plans fall apart because of a, a, the actions of a few fanatics with a shadow government behind them, all right, when all of it falls apart, leaders just want to be left alone. They want to talk about their, their, their using their uh, protein shakes at the gym, what kind of music they prefer. They don't want to talk about IEDs going off and everything. They don't want to talk about the hard right. stuff. They, all right, right. And this is what's worrying me about a sh Trump with Russian help and assistance, money in the form of money, forming a, a, a tyrannical sort of government, shadow government. All right. And, and if we don't really like, unfortunately, there's 70 million Trumpers and, and, and people yeah. couldn't even say I'm prejudiced. They can say, well, well, what have you got against Afghans? All right. And they're they're, they're in their yeah. tendency towards Dave. I, I you know, I get what you're saying. I think, though, that it's important that we realize that there's not 70 million Trumpers. There's 70 million people who voted for Donald Trump. But a good chunk of them voted for Donald Trump because they want abortion to be illegal. Another good portion of them voted for Donald Trump because they're afraid that the Democrats are going to, you know, pass laws against assault weapons and, and, and things like that. Another big chunk of them voted for Donald Trump because, you know, they live in an area where they think that Donald Trump represents NASCAR country music and and and, you know, the American way of life. Um, there's another chunk of them who voted for Donald Trump just 
purely out of racism. Um, you know, I think the number of people who are actually Trumpers, who are who who are following Donald Trump, and and then you've got some people who voted for Donald Trump because they still believe that he's the one guy who's willing to stand up to China and bring our jobs back. And there's a you know, and and there's a fair amount of evidence that that might be the case. Not that he's actually doing it with any effect, but he's talking about it at least. So um, we 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 make a big mistake if we think of Trump voters as a monolithic group. Dave, you got 20 seconds here before we're going to hit a break. No, that's, that's true. They're not a monolithic group, and we have to respect them, and we have to try to communicate with them. Because if we don't, the shadow government, like I said, I think they're going to do it. They're going to decide, They're going to pick a more effective Trump. If you understand what I'm saying, it's not going to be Donald oh, yeah. Trump. It, and, and then it's we're going to be Tom Cotton, right? Or somebody and like remember, it. we will. Remember, we have nuclear weapons, and so does Russia. That's a big difference.